guys welcome to your welcome back to the channel in today's video yes you read the title we are going to be reviewing not one big jeff audio battery not two big jeff audio batteries but three big jeff audio batteries and we are actually going to find out if it's worth the money because guys this stuff cost me a thousand dollars to purchase um, i got a discount like a 10 percent discount shout out to big jeff for that um, but yeah, this still costs, this is still out of pocket. And if y'all want to help me out, I have affiliate links. So listen up right here. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redoto Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sir and Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. All right, back to video. So guys, the reason why I went with Big Jeff Audio batteries is it's because like they're four hundred per they're four hundred dollars per battery, and I've heard really really good things about them, and um, it was either this or the Down for Sound one, and um, I support Big Jeff Audio. I really like their stuff. They have helped me out. Um, the affiliate programs, y'all purchase stuff from Big Jeff Audio, help me out, and I just wanted to give back a little bit actually a lot because this was not cheap so they sent me these three batteries and they also sent me a cup a hat a lanyard two stickers some uh yeah i think these are ear uh earplugs and then a keychain so i mean they're they really don't have to do that and it's really nice of them to actually send merchandise like this to you if uh, the order is big enough. And yeah, I, I'm grateful for that as well. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what it actually looks like. All right, guys. So this is how big the battery is. This thing is tiny, guys. That's my hand compared to the actual battery. And if you flip it over, that's my hand compared to it as well. Um, I can read you the dimensions in here in a second. But on the box, okay, I'll pull up the box real quick. So on the box, if you turn to the side, the other side, sorry. If you turn to the side, so the lithium iron phosphate cell type is lithium LFP. The amp hours, it's a 22 amp hour battery and it is 4,000 to 6,000 watts, guys. That's one of the main reasons why I bought this thing. It's super tiny and it can pack a serious punch. The terminals are copper, which is really nice to see uh let's see so the dimensions right here so seven inches in uh length let's see width is going to be 3.6 inches and the height is actually going to be 6.4 inches so guys this is a tiny tiny battery i actually have um adapter like a uh, terminals to make sure there's i can put like multiple uh multiple uh what's the word terminals on the battery because it also has this thing right here. So when you put the terminal on, it will not touch the negative, which is really nice because you will literally create a fire. And that is not what you wanna do. So we have the positive and negative and there's not really much else to it. I mean, you have the really cool Big Jeff Audio logo here on the back too. And yeah, that's basically it with the Big Jeff Audio battery itself. It also comes with two screws screw in which is nice and um the only thing left to do is to actually put hook it hook them all all up to the car and actually see how much of a difference it makes between the setup i have right now so the setup i have right now are going to be three actually they're going to be 300 amp hour solar batteries so it's really it's really interesting just to see how much of a difference the big jeff audio batteries make between those two so, um, and I'll let you know if it's worth the money or not, and if it's a good add-on to your system. All right, guys, without further ado, let's just get into it and see how this thing performs. All right, guys, something I did forget to mention is you gotta charge your batteries when you get it in because legally they can't actually send it fully charged. So this one looks like it's only 75% charged. So I'm gonna get this topped off. I'm gonna get all three topped off. And uh, yeah, let's see how it, uh, how it does in the car. All right, guys, so here's what I did. So I got my three batteries right here. They're actually really nice. They're really, really small. They fit really well. I moved my box just a tiny bit, and I got my ultra capacitor right here. Um, so, yeah, I've been playing them around a little bit, and the lowest uh, voltage I've seen dropped into actually the mid-12s, which I wasn't too fond of. But here's the thing. Like, 
it felt like it was pulling more watts though so therefore the voltage would have dropped more so we'll see in this test i'm about to do and another reminder guys if you want to help me out go to my affiliate links in the description it helps you out and helps me out it's a double win and yeah let's get into this thing Alrighty guys, so what we're gonna do is we have the Redoto Power Queen and Dr. Uh, Dr. Prepare in the back, all 100 amp hour solar batteries actually. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 35, 40, and 45 hertz frequency and see how much the voltage drops with this battery. And we're gonna go up the clipping, I think, on the amp. Or we'll just do, I'll set it at seven. Let's set it at seven for now and uh, see what this thing can do. So I'm gonna turn it up. And yeah, so 35 Hertz is gonna be first. So let's get it. All right guys, so what we did is we dropped down to 13.5 and um, I don't know if I have that on dyno power. It must have, I need to set that on dyno power, but it dropped down to 13.5 on 35 Hertz. So let's do 40 Hertz. All right, guys, let's get the 40 hertz. So resting voltage is 14.2. So let's do it. Same settings on the base knob. And it's on dyno power, so let's do it. All right, so we dropped down to 13.7, I think is what I saw. And our dyno voltage, I mean, dyno watts are 3,392. And it actually got my thing down. So that's 40 hertz, drop down to 13.7. Let's do uh, 45 hertz and see what it does. All right, guys, 45 hertz. Let's get it. All right, guys, it dropped down to 13.6, I think I saw. And let's see the watts we pushed. Sorry, it fell down. 2,900 watts rose up to 1.5 ohms. So let's put in the Big Jeff audio batteries and see the difference between those two. I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep the base knob where it is right now. I'm not gonna change anything. And yeah, let's do it. All right guys, let's get into the testing. So we got my SMD over there on dyno mode. Got the volts in at 14.42, which is good. And I got my gains set to the exact same at seven. And yeah, let's see how much power this thing can produce at 35 Hertz. So let's get it. All right, guys, we're sitting at 14 volts. Dropped down to, to about, I think it was 12.6, I think. So let's get into this 40 hertz test and see what it drops down to. All right, 40 hertz. Let's get it. I right, dropped down to 12.47, and we have rose to 1.3 ohms, 6,002 watts, guys. So this thing is pulling more power or more watts than the um than the other setup so let's get 45 hertz and then compare the the numbers all right guys 45 hertz let's get it all right guys it dropped down to 12.2 i don't know if you could see that but our numbers did drop down a little bit 1.3 ohms 5832 watts so guys this thing is pulling some numbers it's pulling some numbers, but it's dropping more in the voltage. So to combat that, I may just put the power queen back there to help with the voltage issue and see if that helps and gets the numbers we want. But let me compare the numbers. I'll do a voiceover right here and stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So this is going to be the voiceover time. So the solar batteries, the power queen, the Redodo, and the Dr. Prepare, all three batteries. So I'm going to do the 40 and 45 hertz because I messed up on the 30, 30 hertz. And I also messed up on the Big Jeff Audio 30 hertz because uh, I couldn't find the clip for it. So 40 hertz uh, on the solar batteries, we dropped down to 33, 3392. So that's 3,392 watts. And that's on 40 hertz. 45 hertz, 2,932. All right, let's compare it to the Big Jeff Audio batteries. So the Big Jeff Audio battery is at 40 hertz. We got a whopping 6,002 watts. And on the 45 hertz, we got also a whopping 5,832 watts. Guys, I think it's a no-brainer. These Big Jeff Audio batteries can handle the heat of these, uh, of these amps. 
and uh, that was on the same gain, same everything, and it pushed super hard. Um, I also think it has a main thing to do with the BM. I think it's the BMS in the solar batteries that does it, and it's not the same in the BJF Audio batteries because that's four car audio. But overall, guys, the BJF Audio and the solar batteries did great. Uh, I ran the solar batteries for a really long time. I really had no issues. The voltage didn't drop as nearly as much as the Big Jeff Audio, and it actually didn't feel like it was it was getting like 3,000 watts. It felt like more. But let's get back to the video and for the final conclusion. All right, guys, my final thoughts on the three Big Jeff Audio lithium batteries, 22 amp hours, 4,000 to 6,000 watts. My final thoughts are, is it worth the money? You know what? I actually do think that it is because I was I was not pulling anywhere near, I, I don't think I was pulling anywhere near 6,000 watts on like 40 or 45 Hertz with the other batteries. So these things really do pull out the wattage, but also it lacks in the, the voltage. It goes back up the 14 volts, but it drops pretty quickly. So, I'm gonna try something to combat that in the next video. Um, I wanted to see if I want to see if like you can mix a solar battery with this batteries and if it will fuck up the the BMS or whatever system in the battery or whatever and see if it will actually pull the same amount of watts but keep the voltage. So I'm gonna experiment with that and uh, I'll let y'all know. I'll, I'll send y'all through the whole process. And, but honestly, guys, I will leave links in the description for this Big Jeff Audio, these Big Jeff Audio batteries. I'll leave the Amazon link and the Big Jeff Audio link. Both links will be affiliate links. If you use my Amazon link and purchase anything off Amazon, it will help me out. And if you go to the Big Jeff Audio website and use code BASEMENACE, you can get 5% off your order and it will also help me out and help you out at the same time. So guys, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. These things really do bang, and I promise I'll get my March Digital 8K out soon. And yeah, if you like this type of content, want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.